Welcome back to Project Ozone 3. It's LT7 style. Um, I'm just getting some water so we can make this mossy cobblestone. Pick back up where we left off last time. Um, yeah, once we get our mending moss or whatever, we hopefully will be able to put that on our crossbow bolt so we never run out of ammo. And then we'll have everything that I think we're going to need in order to beat the Ender Dragon. I hope. I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll probably pick our armor up too and put that in. Um, let's get some more water, just to be safe. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll fill this back up, it's fine. But there's our resin extractors and latex processing unit, uh, to make our rubber. Um, I just, yeah, while we're, while we're standing here, thought I'd talk about it a little bit more. Um, that's how I make my plastics, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, filling up our fluid transposer. Making some mossy cobblestone like a winner. Put away these buckets because we don't need them anymore. This should be more than enough mossy cobble. Uh, yeah, so we've got 10 already. We'll make a ball of moss. And then use that on a bookshelf, I think. So, boom. Right click on a bookshelf, mending moss, perfect. Takes 10 levels. Uh, so, Awesome. We got what we need. Get some quartz to sharpen our stuff. Jesus, nether quartz. Uh, oh, it's only four. Awesome. It's even better. Neat. So that's pretty much all of our quartz. And you can't convert it back. That's fine. We'll, we'll just take all this. Why, why not? We'll have an extra sharp set of bolts, I guess. Um, we might modify the sword too. I don't know, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But almost two stacks of quartz should be plenty. Let's get our mending moss though, so we can use that on one of the modifiers for our bolts. So now we've got mending moss and three books, whatever Who cares. Um, okay, put in our bolts, mending moss. So. That should make it so it auto heals. And then we'll make it sharp, increase the weapon damage. So it goes to 11.3 from like nine, I wanna say. So that's not bad. I know you can add more modifiers. Uh, I think you can do it with another star. So take one to add a modifier, just because making it more sharp is gonna be better than if we don't. So put that on. Now we got two modifiers remaining instead of just one, and we can do this twice, so double sharp. 13.38 per bolt, that should be pretty good, I think. I don't know, we'll find out. And then our crossbow, we can sharpen as well. And I think that helps a little bit. Um, I might be wrong on that, who knows, but there we go. Used all of our quartz, and let's see how this does so got our bolts and our crossbow oh man that takes forever to load um, maybe manoeum wasn't a good idea for the material but let's try shooting something and see if it explodes uh, chicken why not oh yeah it does cool and it doesn't actually damage the terrain that's pretty awesome um, and uh, unexpected so that's cool um, I do want to increase this draw speed though. 1.54 is not very fast, so maybe if we change, what can we do here? I guess we could put redstone on it. That makes it faster. At least that's what it does with, um, tools. We'll get a, another modifier and we'll take these blocks of redstone and see if that helps. Cause it gives it haste. I want to say is the technical name. Um, which means it goes faster. I know I'm wasting these nether stars on modifiers, but you know what? It's fine. Give us some more modifiers. Here we go. Hasten this bow up. And draw speed 3.18. So that is faster than it was before. Um, only slightly though. So I think we might have to change the material on our crossbow because that 
takes forever. And if you're getting attacked by something, like you don't have four seconds to just chill and load your crossbow before you can shoot. Like you need you need to be able to quick fire this. So I'm gonna I'm just taking a look to see what materials I could try. Um, Electrum maybe would work. I know that's supposedly a faster material. That's why I have it on my hammer. Um, so we could try that, see if it lowers the draw speed, perhaps. Just looking, uh, yeah, so they're saying Electrum on here is decent for a crossbow limb. So maybe we'll try putting Electrum on instead and see if that works a little bit better um, on the draw speed. I mean, if we can get it under two seconds, probably going to be okay. Uh, faster is obviously better, but three seconds is too long. Uh, I'm, I'm not happy with that. That's not good enough to take down the Ender Dragon. Not in my mind. So, yeah. I'm just making sure if Electrum is the consensus here, which it looks like it pretty much is. Um, they're just saying that crossbows are trash and you really should build a short bow because they fire faster and you can do this and that. Put... Um, infinity on it and then it never runs out of ammo or whatever i'm not making a new weapon i'm just going to change this out with electrum see if that helps so gold and silver so a couple of each pour out this manuleum and that's probably not enough for a block huh shit okay well whatever we'll just leave it in there it's fine oh all right cal i don't know why you were attacking me but you're dead now um, okay, making some Electrum, get rid of this because I don't need it, and yeah, we'll take the torches off, get rid of this, put this, do, do, Electrum, awesome, fill that up, give me my Electrum, that is the benefit of these Tinker Tools, is you can change out the pieces really easy. Um, and it doesn't sacrifice your modifiers, so we should still have all the modifiers we just put on this bow. It just won't be manuleum anymore, it'll be electrum instead, which hopefully increases the draw speed. So, yeah, 1.38, that's a lot better. That's like half, so, oh yeah, that's much quicker, much quicker. I mean, I'd like it to be instant, but that's probably not a thing anymore. It was too OP, so they probably nerfed it, but... I feel confident we can do this with our crossbow and everything. I'm just going to get our Invar armor um, because, yeah, I mean, if I go in there without any armor, I'll probably get one shot and that would suck because it costs 82 levels for flight. So I really don't want to die if I can help it. Um, so we'll just equip this and I've got plenty of Invar. I can repair it later. Uh, the levels from the dragon will be more than enough to repair this. So, yeah. Let's load this up and let's go to the end. There we go. It's just loading. And we will take out the Ender Dragon and, um, yeah, get some Ender Bio Time, get some Draconium, and hopefully my game doesn't crash. It didn't. Good. I did just escape out. That way I don't get, like, attacked while it's loading. Okay, here we go. There he is. Look at him go. Oh, so explosions don't go through the bars. That sucks. Whatever. We'll just take out these crystals. Um, okay. It's fine. Pretty easy. I mean, that's primarily why you want a ranged weapon is to take out these crystals because they explode so they can do a fair amount of damage if you're like manual, like doing it by hand. So it's all right. I think as long as we keep moving around, like the Ender Dragon can't really do anything to us. Um, I'll make sure to watch my food though, that way I'm always regening health, because yeah, it would suck to get killed um, and lose my flight. So, oh yeah, this this does decent. I mean, not as much damage as I was hoping. I know in the past, like you could build a crossbow that did like 40 hearts worth of damage per arrow. So I don't know what happened, but I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, so let's take out these crystals so it can't heal, and then we'll finish off this dragon. Should be pretty easy. I mean, we have pretty good gear. We waited a fair amount of time before even attempting this, so 
you know, I'm not too concerned. It just, I don't want to lose.